got this nice little pike, probably like a 22 incher, but uh, definitely need the pliers for this. Is finally he caught a pike. He's been after one today. Beautiful little fish, but uh, I'm gonna go and grab the pliers real quick to get it because he absolutely inhaled that little swim bait. So yeah. Please video on that nice little pike, 22 incher. Really skinny though. Yeah, I'm gonna show him what I got. There she goes. Swim, swim in here, swim, swim in here, pikey. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna show them what I got. I just wanted to show you what I'm using today, what I got that pike on, a lot of the other fish. Uh, this is a new color of these storm swim baits. It's just like a different bluegill pattern. And that's been doing pretty good. I lost a walleye on it. And I just got that pike and I got a few bass, so it's working pretty well. Yeah. I'm cutting off a rattle for the night. Just gonna get him back in the water. There he goes, nice little bass. So uh here for night fishing. Guys, uh first First fish of the day, uh, a good sized walleye. Uh, really pretty colors on him. He's probably 21 inches long. He's a little bit, you know, he's you know not skinny skinny, but he's not super fat. Really pretty colors on that fish. Um, so I'm gonna get some pictures of him and get him back in the water. Here that beautiful 21 inch walleye goes. So I'm gonna get him back in the water. Fun him nice and hard on that. Uh, He has some beautiful white spots on him, you can see. Beautiful walleye. There he is, right there coming. Uh, next fish, after that walleye. This is beautiful pike. <clears throat> um, nice little. I don't know. This one's probably a legal pike. This one's probably close to 24. But uh, we're gonna get some pictures of him. Get him back in the water. One second. So uh, there he is. I uh, hear that beautiful 23, 24 inch northern pike goes. Um, nice healthy fish. Um, nice chompers on him, but uh. He flopped around all on the rocks and stuff like that. It's really difficult to land him. He had some big high chase. I thought he was a pike. Hey guys. The very next cast after that pike. Got this little fellow. Um, and he puts me at that trifecta. So, um... Nice fish. I don't know what that is, but... There's a nice fish, and we're just going to put him back in the water. I saw a big swell. There's another fish right there. I don't know how well you can see him, but, um, yeah, this, this water is really calm. Uh, sorry about that guy, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, ooh, there's a couple of nice fish over there. Let me grab my pole. One second. The next fish, this little, little bass. Um, I just, I had another one in the boat, but, uh, he was about a little bit, he was about the same size as this one. Uh, nice chunky fish, though, but, uh... Can you get the release on him real quick? Uh, first fish of the day, caught out trolling. Um, he's not big, but I'll uh, get a weight on him, put him back in the water. For the day is this beautiful little bass. Uh, I cut him off the, uh, the Lewis rattle trap using the Shimano Stratic with the uh, Power Max rod. Just in the water. Fish, a uh, little bit of bass. Uh, on the island now. Back in the water. There it goes. This fish I caught was this little guy. Um, he fought pretty damn hard. Um, nice head shakes and everything. But uh, off the Bill Lewis chrome blue rattle trap. Fishing this water. It's pretty clear over here. There's a lot of rocks and stuff. Lots of something huge jump. So I don't know if you can tell over there. But yeah. Okay, his next fish is this uh, nice fish, a nice bass. Um, he's not huge, but he's pretty chunky. Um, so I'll get away on him real quick and get him back in the water. Next fish goes, he's 1.12. You good? You gonna jump for me? Yep. There he is. The uh, next fish was this nicer fish. Uh, again, fishing with the Texas rig. And, um, this nicer fish hit it, so I'm gonna get a weight on him real quick and get him back in the water. Uh, first bass of the evening. I caught him with this, uh, chrome blue back rattle trap right here. So uh, get him back in the water after a quick uh, weigh in. Uh, one and a half pounds. 
Uh, nice and chunky little fish. Get him back. Oh, there he goes. The other day is this big old rock bass. Um, he's he's a big rock bass. Uh, I saw another one over there too. He's a lot smaller, but this is the first fish. You can tell he's super beautiful fish. So I'll get some pictures of him. Get him back in the water. Uh, about to release this beautiful. I don't know. Um. Oh, uh, 11 inch rock bass. Uh, one second, let me get a quick weight on him. Get a rock over there. He hasn't been out of the water long, so. Revive him real quick. Ooh, yeah, he's ready to go. Um, I'll get back to you with the weight. Here. My scale's a little off, but I think it's like a half a pound off, so he's close to a pound. He's about a pound. There he goes. Beautiful rock bass. He's right there, so. Yep, good fish. This is this little guy. He's really smelly for some reason, but a uh, nice little chunky bass. I'll just get him back in the water. There he goes. Next fish, same drop off. Um, this rocky shore over here. Um, there's some big fish. I don't know what they are jumping, but it could be big pike. This big old crappie. And he's big. He's probably 11, 12 inches, but I'll get a couple pictures with him and uh, get him back in the water. Look at that uh, nice little crappie go. So after that last crappie is another crappie. This one's a little bit smaller. Uh, he jumped a lot though, but a uh, beautiful fish. So I uh, get a picture of him and get back in the water. That nice little crappie go.